Welcome back everybody. We got uh, three trucks of hogs showing up here. Uh, we're gonna head down to the barn, but first I gotta lock someone in the shed because she is a pest when we load pigs, aren't ya? Aren't ya? Should we, should we go in here? Should we go in here? Let's go, let's go. Sorry. I'm sorry. Don't, don't get in any trouble, okay? Just, just stay put. I, I'll be back. Okay? Bye. We usually just do that. Sometimes she nips at the pigs through the, the truck and she just barks all the time. So it's, it's, it's in the way. And I'm surprised she's not barking at me right now, just standing out here talking. <laughs> Hello everybody, uh, welcome back. It's towards the end of April, it's about the 24th today. I'm sorry I missed an intro and talking to you guys, uh, sorting pigs there, uh, what you just witnessed. Um, it was pretty tough, we were going out pretty quick. We cleaned the barn out finally, um, our 1200 head barn, and we just had three trucks show up, and the pigs went right out the door, opened the gates, run them down, and that was about it. We had a little bit of trouble on the last truck, the, the trucker had the the panels up on the side um, and keeps heat in and it was darker in the trailer that's what I attribute the the troubles the troubles to so uh, we got that done I got a little bit of footage so as you saw uh, right now uh, I just got home from work I'm gonna go jump in Jim's pickup and the fuel trailers hooked to that go over to Michael top off the tractor with some fuel and def and then I think I'm gonna head up to our North 80 um, and hop in the tractor there and work the ground, take over for Jim. Um, so come along today, everybody. The water tender out, we're gonna be spraying when it when the wind dies down. Um, I think we'll have a pretty good chance tomorrow if someone's gonna man the plant instead of dad. I don't think I've ever showcased this. In fact, I know I've never showcased this. This is Thunder Creek fuel trailer we just got. I don't really know any specs about it, unfortunately. Um, Dad got it uh, last year uh, before harvest season for our combine where it really shined. And right now it's real nice to have. We got a def tank on it and a fuel tank. Um, buzz from field to field, fill up as we need. Real, real handy. We've never had bulk def storage either, so that's nice to have bulk. We just used the jugs for the one tractor we had that took def. Now we got a combine and a tractor that takes def, and then the tractor we rent takes def as well. I'm gonna head over to the east quarter. That's where I worked at last night, and then Michael's out there farming and planting right now. Nice sweatshirt. Nice sweatshirt. Yeah. <laughs> Real cute.
up here on the North 80, the Scott's Hog Barn right there. Been finding big rocks. I just posted a TikTok the other day of me walking through the field and have little tiny rocks. I guess we do uncover rocks every now and then with with this with this thing that are just slightly shallow enough that they they come to the surface. But we're gonna take off here. It's getting a lot easier to run this after repetition. I don't know. Away we go. So I was saying, outside if you couldn't hear me uh, over there is and I probably can't see it right over there is Scott's my cousin Scott's hog barn 2400 finisher site he's got he's had that for, for a number of years owns the site there there's a little shop on there and, and, and someone uh, bought that fairly recently um, got some stuff sitting over there um, but manure obviously out of that barn comes on to this farm and then I think we put some manure of that barn onto uh, Potts Farm, which Michael and I farm together. But uh, no, we're just trying to keep ahead of the planter here. Uh, there's stuff that's still pretty wet uh, today even. Tomorrow looks like our nat last really nice day for a while. Um, hope hoping the rain holds off a little bit into Thursday, Thursday night that can come. And then this weekend it's going to be uh, showers, thunderstorms, that's okay, it's a good time for that, not when the crop's up. Going back and forth across this farm here, uh, still can kind of feel, it used to be farm north to south and we changed it to farm it east to west, um, can still feel it rolling quite a bit. Just, just noticing that a little bit as I go across, it's a lot rougher than what I was doing last night. And this farm has definitely come a long ways in, in management. We've taken care of some weed spots, uh, some tile spots, some wet spots with, with tile, um, manure management. Uh, this It's come a long way in the, in the time we've owned it. It's about, been about four years, I want to say, we farmed this, this piece. Four or five. I want to say it was four because I think we bought it right before COVID hit, and then we didn't close on it until like way into the summer or something like that, after we had we were farming it that year. So, it, yeah, COVID shut down a lot of things. That was one thing that slowed up. I guess the upside to that is uh, we didn't have to pay interest on it for so long. Someone asked uh, in a couple of videos back, you know, I started off with hogs here in this video, um, why we pick and choose what hogs we mark uh, when we're taking cuts out of the barn. Uh, I guess it all comes down to size, primarily, um, other than that. I guess it all mostly comes down to, to market size. Um, you want a good, even, uniform group of pigs going on the truck, so the average weight's pretty consistent. Um, if you got a bunch of small ones and really bring the average down, I don't know, consistency, nice even. But at the same time, you know, we're not perfect. We, we mark the pigs for our barns um, and we'll go through and sort. Maybe see one that's a little bigger as you're sorting or one slips by, you're like, huh, that one should have maybe been marked. But usually it comes to the next one. And, and, and then that turn, like I said, we cleaned out that barn. so. It, it was just opening the gates and run them out. We had some, obviously our, our sicker pen uh, cakes. Boy, that was rough. Um, that, that was just a really sick group. Uh, luckily they, with age, they grew out of it, everything. But we just had some pigs that never really came around and, and, and grew to their full potential. 
um, they still get get down to processing. I don't know what plant those go to. Um, we had three three good truckers um, knew what they were doing. Um, that's always nice. And yeah, pretty smooth. And I think uh, this Friday, Thursday or Friday, uh, when the weather's uh, crummy, I think is when we're going to move the pigs. And that's all down to the trucker we have lined up is also a farmer, so he's obviously out working in the fields right now. And we don't all want to take time out of this to go mess around with hogs. So. So, no, the field's not on fire, but, uh, oh, the corn stalks from the neighbor blew in, so we're just burning them out of the way so they don't interfere with our planning. Um, but it looks like I'm putting out a fire. Jim just showed up. He's a, he's a pyro, so he loves that crap. Uh, I gotta stay close, though, in case it hops the fence. And I'm sorry, but you will not see me after this. If if that happens, this goes down and we go into go save the neighbor mode. It's overlapping, kind of looks like plaid. You guys ever seen space balls where space ball one goes plaid? Ludicrous, they go past ludicrous speed. That's kind of like what I'm doing right now. Not really. So yeah, I just drove through, but here, I'm just, I'm parked on the end just in case it would hop the fence. But you can't tell as well as I'd like, but yeah, Jim's right on the flames. He's got a bunch of seed bags. If this goes bad, I won't use this to incriminate you. It is over the fence. really now this would definitely interfere with the planter <laughs> for those of you watching at home this video is going to be all over the place and I apologize for that but that's farming for you that fire subsided I smell like smoke Ran along the fence line twice just to make sure. And uh, back, I've got a couple more strips of mulching to do here quick. And then do the other end rows and then we got this field done. Yep, I think that'll do me for tonight in this farm at least. I don't know what uh, the plan is for this next. I think everything else we have ahead of this is still wet, so. I might go check in on Michael on the East Quarter. Stay tuned, everybody. Just keep, just keep, just keep bearing with me here. Really love high-speed transmissions. 28 and a half mile an hour. It's a 30 mile per hour tractor, so that's pretty darn good. Way better than the four-wheel drive. Okay, now really bear with me here. I uh, just got done back working ground. The wind has died down significantly for the day, so I'm gonna buzz home quick, grab my drone, and we're gonna go check on the planter at the East Quarter again.
like I said, it just bear with me that uh, drone footage is actually of our, our pots farm. Um, I got to the east quarter that night and uh, the drone wouldn't, wouldn't fly, wouldn't even connect to uh, the remote. So I uh, went home and did some messing around with it and got her fixed and and uh, we were back in action on, on the pots farm. Michael and I farmed that, he was in the planner. Um, but uh, no, it's uh, it's been a, probably a week or two since uh, that was filmed. Um, I'm at home here on a Saturday. Um, we're just waiting for it to dry out. We've had about a foot of rain um, in the last two weeks, so it's pretty wet. There's not a lot going on right now. I know out east and up north there's some stuff going on, but not a lot we can do at this point. At this point in the video, I wanted to take some time. This is this is gonna be new, so if you if you're around this far, thank you. Um, but I wanted to share uh, with you all uh, something that. I just wanted to share on this this channel there's not enough of this out there if you read the description in every one of my videos and I believe it's on the description for the channel um, I've got a Bible verse in there and uh, th that Bible verse is from Luke 10 to the harvest truly is great but the laborers are few pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest that we would send forth laborers into the harvest um, now where that comes from is I uh, saw a combine a couple of years ago with that actually on it. Um, that was a, a decal they had on it. It was a John Deere 9400 combine. And I just thought that was, that was really cool. And uh, I don't think I've ever given any explanation of where that came from and, and why that's there in every video. Um, but uh, I would also like to say there needs to be more of that. There needs to be more of that in this world on YouTube everywhere so uh, going forward if I can just sh share with you guys maybe it's at the end maybe it's at the beginning I just like to share uh, one verse with you um, going forward and make that part of your video watching and that um, it means a lot to me not enough people have Jesus in their life I feel like um, and I, I feel called to, to share that with you all um, so if that loses me followers whatever that's your loss um and also i'm very sick right now i have a head cold and sore throat and really congested so just pray pray for me and, and healing and and i pray for all you watching this um with that thank you everybody um please leave a like subscribe to the channel and we'll check you next time